Welcome to Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase. I'm Bob Parcell. And I'm Steve Furrow. Thank you very much for watching our show. We'll be glad to try to answer any questions you may have on this program. And please visit our company website of mountaintolake.com where you can search for all the listings in our MLS. You bet. Uh, got a great website as well as a great location there, 195 South Main Street. We hope that you take the time to either visit one or two of those or all of them or none of them, but we want you to come and be a part of Mountain to Lake Realty if you are interested in buying or selling property. That's what we would really love for you to do. Come out and hang out with us. Our location there, 195 South Main Street, we have someone there dedicated to being there Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5, all day, every day, those days. And if those times don't work for you, well, just give us a call or send us an email or message us on Facebook and we'll be glad to reach out and set up a time that does work for you and where it works for you. Um, right, Pop? We don't have to meet at the office there. We'll come to you, right? Exactly. You bet. We're happy to meet you at your convenience. We can, as we said before, in this market, a lot of times buyers don't have a lot of opportunity to think about properties. We'll be happy to meet with you to go over everything that might be involved in a purchase or an offer so that when you find a property of interest, you we're just concentrating on that property and not the disclosures and inspection questions and loan questions and all that's already determined. There's enough pressure on you to determine this is the right property for you and what's a fair price without going over you know, 15 pieces of paper. So take us up on that offer to go over all that paperwork with you ahead of time. So again, when you find a property of interest, we're just focusing on that property. So Bob, today we're gonna maybe highlight a few things about, well, the first few properties we're gonna show you are land listings. And so Bob, if I was interested in selling some land, what would be a suggestion you might give? You talked about the documents there, but what about, what, what are some pointers you might share with uh, somebody like myself that's interested in selling some land? In selling land, I would say, you know, if you can have a survey, have it freshly marked. Okay. You know, we, we hope that if we listed a property, we'd sell it. But one of the main reasons people list property is we and sellers agree to cooperate and compensate other agents to show it. So when they arrive at the property, um, they have a good idea where the property boundaries are. Um, for example, when you show a house, it's a lot of times it somewhat speaks for itself as you walk through it. So I think having the boundaries marked, a survey is ideal. If it's a smaller track of land, a seller may consider doing a perk test so that um, it's hard for people to envision things. So if you put in just a small road and show them a groom, a building site with a perk test, I think that's you bet. really helps a buyer envision where the house may go. You know, in the summer when there's a lot of chiggers and ticks and things, <laughs> if they can get to the property without having to deal with that, I think that, that helps a lot. Lions and tigers and bears, oh <laughs> <are> my. <mine. laughs> But, and, and also, I mean, restrictions come into play, so anything you can disclose up front about, you know, where is the property located, does it have a drain field, not a drain field, but is a perk test in place, Sure. sure. Um, and restrictions I think really helps. All right. So one or two key pointers for a buyer if they're interested in buying land? Well, I, I would say, you know, while you can get a 100% loan or 96.5% loan on a home, you cannot get 100% loan on land to my knowledge, so there's a bigger down payment. Okay, fair enough. And so I think you know, that may be obvious, but it's not to everyone. So sometimes people are looking, they get frustrated, they can't find the house. So they say, well, we'll consider a lot and then we'll build one, so that, just keep that in mind. And then have an idea of what type of uh, home you want to build to see if the restric restrictions work for you. And Restrictions? And, and never assume you can get electric to your property. I've been Whew. very surprised over the years that lots that you thought getting power there was not a problem that sometimes are. So we, we can help you with that. So if you want to buy land, you know, we can make the offer if you wish subject to a perk test, subject to having power there, or meeting the power company, be sure it can be brought there. A lot of things come into play. And you talked about with the sellers, you talked about the freshly marked and a, a nice survey or plat. Um, that's one of the things I think when you're buying land, that's one of the things that, you know, 
is there a survey for the property? And if so, when was it done? You know, how how well is the property marked? All those things are important. Amazingly, a lot of properties do not have a survey or a current survey. Amazingly. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. having those uh, having those understandings, those pointers ahead of time, uh, I think greatly enhances whether you're buying or selling. Those, those are great tips, Bob, and, and those are things that, uh, you know, at Mountain to Lake, those are the kind of things we can we bring to the table. We can help you speed the process along. And if you're interested in a piece of property, we're going to talk about point drive here in Hardy in just a moment. That's the first slide we're going to show you, but that's, uh, you know, we already have the survey on file. We're ready to go. We can share that information with you and uh, we're, we're, we're on down the road in the buying process here at Mountain to Lake. And so hopefully if you're interested in buying, selling property, you'll consider giving us a call. Okay. Well, let's uh, talk about Point Drive there in Hardy. 0.57 acres. This is on Smith Mountain Lake, beautiful Smith Mountain Lake. This time of year, I, you, I, I just think the lake is so underappreciated this time of year, Bob. Here we are the last, last week of September, but man, it's... Uh, well, it's great. It, you bet. Water temperature's still fine, much, much less, less boat traffic. Yep. Still warm temperatures. You gotta you just gotta love it. I'd like this, to see you out there. Maybe we you can do some barefooting skiing and we can film that as well. Last week you were gonna play touch football. Maybe <laughs> this week we can get you some barefooting. Well, I'm can, trying. You, can you ski barefoot? Uh, no. No. I'm trying to nurse my wounds from the touch football that we played, Bob. So give me you know, it might be next year this time before I'd be in in shape to do some barefoot water skiing. But I like to see that. <laughs> yeah, they'd be lining up. But here we are. This is Point Drive in Hardy. Um, 260, oh, excuse me, 236 feet of water frontage here with this lot. Love to tell you more about it. Be glad to talk about it. This property has already been perked, so that part's good. We've got the restrictions, covenant, plat, aerial, all those things we can share with you. Um, no issues at all as far as uh, sharing that information. We've got it ready to go. Just need to know that you're interested and we'll show it to you. But this is Point Drive here in Hardy. 0.57 acres, nice green yard, potential yard here with Point Drive. We're going to stay in Hardy for this 2.7 acre track on Truman Hill Road. And Truman Hill is off Juba Early, working your way over towards Edwardsville, convenient to many areas of the lake as well as Roanoke and Westlake, of course. There's some preliminary soil works complete on this one as well. Owner financing could be an option. Again, 2.7 acres zoned A1 on Truman Hill. We're going to stay kind of in that same area. This is in Bedford County. This is Goodview Horse, Horseshoe Bend Road in Goodview. Got two lots, two adjacent lots here. Um, they back up side by side. One is 1.05 acres. The next one is 1.10 acres, but they come together here. Um, it can be purchased separately or together. This is Horseshoe Bend with good view address. Come back to Florida Avenue. This is zone CBD, it's zone commercial. Very close to the Harvester, a lot of restaurants downtown, a brewery that opened up above it recently. So a lot of good things are happening in the town in my opinion. This is, um, again, on Floyd Avenue. Great location, mostly all open. It is, it is. Grass you see here. A good place for our business. Sits up high. You can look down towards the Grove and all the nice things that are happening in downtown Rocky Mount. Floyd Avenue, 0.53. Of course, you can hook up to public water and sewer zoned CBD, Commercial Business District. We're going to head out to Six Mile Post Road now. We're staying in Franklin County, Six Mile Post Road. Uh, this is Callaway Address. If you're not familiar from Rocky Mount, 40 West right on Six Mile Post Road there, just past um, 40 West Food Fair. And this property is approximately two and a half miles out on your right. We've got uh, two lots here to share with you, 1.23 and 1.62. They're adjacent lots, just like we talked about those on Horseshoe Bend, they're in good view. These lots 
You can purchase them both or just purchase one or the other. But this first lot there on Six Mile Post Road, 1.23. The second lot, 1.62. Callaway, Six Mile Post Road, love to show them to you. Back to Sycamore Street for this lot within the town limit, zoned RB. Again, this is Main Street, leads you to Sycamore. This lot will be on your right, clean level lot. Very convenient to the YMCA and other amenities of Rocky Mount. And public water and sewer hookups are available here as well. We're going to take switch gears a little bit, Bob, and talk about some commercial properties here. Let's do it. This one you've got here on Old Franklin Turnpike. Tell us about it. It's on the corner of Old Franklin Turnpike and Ayers Road. Very convenient to Cable 12. Smith Mountain Lake has a Glade Hill address. So, of course, that's a lot of high traffic count leading down towards the lake. Great lot. With Two driveways or entrances, if you will, off of Old Franklin Turnpike, one off Ayers Road, very level lot, plenty of room for expansion, plenty of room to get large vehicles in and out if you need to, plenty of room for a lot of customer parking if it comes to that, hopefully, in zone B2. Hopefully you can see the new, well not new, but in 2018, a seamed metal roof was put on this 3,600 square foot building with a nice covered porch. And you step inside, and it's mostly open, high ceilings, 3,600 square feet of square footage. Not a lot of demolition here to tear apart if you want to change the layout. It does have a gas furnace. Some other features in addition to the high ceilings are the double doors there leading out to the deck, as well as a loading dock on the back, maybe to help your back a little, lifting things in and out of the, the building. It's been used as a furniture store for years, and again, it's just a great lot. I think it's a very good location, and we'll be glad to give you more details for this property. It's 6137 Old Franklin Turnpike. There's the gas furnace, which has a Glade Hill address. Zone B2. So we do have the opportunity from time to time to bring some commercial properties to you. Typically, those commercial properties were just selling the property. This specific instance here on Old Franklin Turnpike, not only have the opportunity to purchase the property, but you also have the opportunity to purchase the business as well. This is Old Franklin Turnpike in Rocky Mount. It's just uh, roughly about two miles out of the town of Rocky Mount. If you're headed 40 east, this would be on your left headed towards Smith Mountain Lake. And again, Bob talked about there with the previous property, the high traffic count, and anytime you're operating a business, the more traffic you can get in front of your established business, the better. And so this is another great spot here to take advantage of the location, the proximity of the high traffic count, be able to pull those potential customers in. As I mentioned, uh, the property is for sale as, long as, as well as a business. This business is Smith Auto Sales. It's a used car lot. Uh, certainly, uh, you, know, you could take that business and morph it into whatever you would like. But this opportunity here, it's established. It is, it's running. We can talk about inventory. We can talk about cash flow. We can talk about lots of different things associated with the business. If you're interested, give us a call. We're going to talk more about the property right here in this 1.5 acres here on Old Franklin Turnpike. You got a chance to see the front side of the building. This is below on that lower two-door garage. You see underneath there is that two-door garage on the upper level as well. So perfect here for a, a car business, maybe a mechanic, auto shop. It'd be a great spot here for that. Tons of road frontage here on Old Franklin Turnpike. It's a little over 600 total feet from one end to the other, so just tons of, uh, tons of road frontage, which gives you lots and lots of opportunity to get folks' attention as they drive by. There are those two buildings we showed. Uh, they've got an office area here. I'm on the front. As you step around to the other side, you do have a kitchen here, as well as some additional office space. It does have a full 
bath here on the entry level. So it does include a shower if you, uh, if you needed a place to clean up, maybe before you head out for that big date on a Friday night. Back out here on the, the front side, uh, you get a chance to see the front side of that office building, the side there, but that's Old Franklin Turnpike in Rocky Mount. So next we'll travel back to Rocky Mount. This has been used as Arrington Flowers for many, many, many years. It's zoned CBD. While it certainly could be used as a florist in the future, it certainly has retail um, options as well. And I think we've been fortunate to work with a lot of buyers and sellers for some commercial props in the town limits last few years, the former J&J &J Fashions, the Crown Studio, the Granary adjacent to this building. And I think one of the unique features of this one is it has extensive parking. It has at least 20 parking spots, seven to the right, twice that many at least on the other side of the building. So that's a, that's a big feature. Step inside this building, you're going to hopefully notice there's over 3,500 square feet that's finished. And again, we're showing you the parking lot here. It has very tall ceilings, has two walk-in coolers, lots of storage. It has a metal rubber roof with a rubber roof on the side towards the Hub restaurant, if you will, installed in 2017. It has a heat pump with oil backup and a high traffic count coming by this. So it's on the corner of Franklin Street and Diamond Avenue, extensive parking. We'll be glad to give you a tour inside of this building at any time. I just want to take a moment, Bob, if I could. Um, one of the unique things coming up here in Rocky Mount is the Scarecrow Trail. If you recall, they're um, around different businesses and entities have the opportunity to decorate and put the Scarecrow Trail up. Right here is a great, you purchase this business, you're gonna be in business with the Scarecrow Trail because you're gonna be right there, opportunity to, to put up. And with, there's tons of people that come from all over. I didn't realize this, Bob, till the other day, but they were talking about the amount of what they estimated people coming at, from a, just to see the Scarecrow Trail. It, it really surprised me. So again, talking about commercial properties and increasing, you know, having traffic, people coming through, here's a great opportunity right here, Franklin Street. If you've got a business, you're thinking about expanding, here'd be a great opportunity. Yeah, and they come home to Franklin County Christmas. You bet. Have this, where thousands of people could walk past. It's a great location, it's a good building, it's been well maintained. It has two walk-in coolers. You could remove them if you wish, but it does have those. Might help you with a restaurant, for example. You bet. You bet. All, well, and all the square footage on a floor, so you don't have any steps to handle. Um, really good loading area in the back, so uh, you could certainly have a lot of customers and still come and go, if you will, doing your business and not stop someone from pulling into the parking lot to maybe give you a, more business. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna. That's gonna wrap up today's commercial listings. We're gonna step in and talk a little bit here about some residential properties, Bob. You got a nice one to share with us, don't you? I think it's very nice. It's a one-owner, custom-built brick home. It's top-of-the-line construction with 14 and a half acres. When you come down 220 South, it sets well off the road. I think it's very private because it's mostly all wooded. There's significant timber value. The formal living room and dining room, nice eat-in kitchen, breakfast area, in addition to the formal dining room, nice bay window, cherry cabinets in the kitchen, has over 2,670 square feet all on the entry level. You can have one level living with three bedrooms, two baths, half bath and laundry, very formal dining room. This is my favorite room, nice hardwood floors, nice den with wood walls and a nice masonry fireplace and built-in bookshelves. To the left is a nice slate porch, offering even more privacy. It's a four bedroom, three full bath, one half bath home with lots of storage, lots of closet space. Again, top of the line construction. As you come in onto the mud room, off the two car garage, you step into the, right into the kitchen. Off your left is a nice half bath desk area and laundry, 1,000 square feet in the lower level with the fourth full bedroom and third full bath. Good size uh, rec room here as well. Just a great property. Here's a two-car garage and paved drive, lots of privacy. 
comes with six lots. The house is on two of the lots. So there's four vacant lots that front both Virgil Good and a State Road, Clark Road. And in my view, is significant timber value on this property as well. Good view of the back of the home. Off that nice den and, or family room I showed you where that slate patio is, is a good view of that. Extremely private. There's a better view of the slate patio. Cover front porch, brick walkway leading in. It'd be hard pressed to hard pressed to find a home this close to town with this much privacy and acreage. And it shows very well. And a little over four thousand total square feet there. That's a very unique property, Mom. Mm -hmm. So from there, <clears throat> just south of town, we're going to come back to the center street here in the center of town of Rocky Mount. We've got uh, four bedrooms, two full baths, a little over 2,600 total square feet here. Uh, this home has been updated. Uh, you know, you take a look at the outside and you're like, ah, oh, this is just another 1950s, 60s ranch home and that's not the case. There's been several updates. Uh, one of the nice things about the new update here, one of the updates is the hardwood floors you see here. You always appreciate uh, refinished hardwood floors. You know, this home is move-in ready. It has been, there's been painting done on the fresh and the interior. You've got uh, new hardwood floors as well as uh, you know, there's been some electrical updates with switches and outlets, you know, uh, updated air, updated windows, uh, bathrooms have com been completely re up, re whew, completely updated Bob as well as uh, the kitchen was updated and we step inside here we get a chance to see that kitchen, uh, new appliances, just a lot, a lot of new updates here to talk about. We swing around here to the dining area of course, uh, master bedroom and bath, got a nice masonry fireplace there. Four bedrooms, so this would be bedroom number two and bedroom number three. You've got the, the main bath here on the entry level, as well as bedroom number four. You do have the laundry on the entry level, which is always nice. No steps to have to worry about on that front. Nice back deck here on Center Street. You get another shot here of that. Just, uh, well, if I was drawing a deck, I don't know that I'd make it much different than what we got right here. 0.35 acres, you do have a storage shed, nice yard, a sloping yard here in town of Rocky Mount on Center Street. Love to take you in and show it to you in person. Thanks for traveling to Henry County for this five acre listing on Pond Road, which is off of 58 West and Preston Road. In five acres, brick home with 1,650 square feet on the entry level. Hopefully you notice the nice wood floors. There's a three bedroom, two bath home with a carport, a garage under, as well as a nice detached garage we'll show you. A lot of updates this year, including new roof, gutters, heat pump, garage doors, and paint. New flooring in the kitchen and bath. New carpet in the den. So a lot of updates. You have 675 square feet in the lower level that's finished, bringing the total square footage finished to over 2,300. And again, five acres in this nice detached building, Henry County Pond Road. There you can see that nice new roof. So from Henry County, we're coming to Bedford County. Fairview Church Road, one acre. Hey, this home Back in its original day, it was Fairview Primitive Baptist Church. I can just hear the choir singing. Can't you, Bob? We're going to step inside here. This home has some really unique features, characteristics that uh, go right back to the day it was built. Uh, some of those uh, exposed beams you see across there. Um, the open staircase was made from the church pews. Just a really, really unique home here. You get a chance to check out here on Fairview Church Road. It's a Huddleston address. Actually that table there was made from the church pews. It's a bedroom, large bedroom here on the entry level. Of course the bath. You got uh, Shower to your left, sinks and a big old soaking tub. 
Laundry is on the entry level. There's two bedrooms on the on the upper level there. Uh, so it rounds out a total of three bedrooms, two full baths. You do have a, a nice overlooked loft area here of the great room. Certainly tons of possibilities here that you could have, but uh, I can only imagine the children that sit there, maybe in the pews and listening to those choir hymns flow up through their ball. Yep, you can see it, I know. Got a nice private deck here off the back side of the home. Um, at, the home did have, has had several renovations since 1900, so you can see the additions on the sides that you see here from the outside. This is Fairview Church Road in Huddleston. Come back to Mountain Avenue for this nice home on really good street, dead end street, very nice homes on Mountain Avenue. See the nice brick paper driveway coming into the carport. And we'll show you the extensive landscaping and retaining walls that have been done, I think are great features of this property. Very nice brick home with three bedrooms, a full bath, a half bath. Right at 1,300 square feet, all on one floor. Coming off the carport in this good sized kitchen and breakfast area. Lots of cabinet space. As I mentioned, three bedrooms all on the entry level. The larger of the three here off to the right is the half bath, which connects to the kitchen through the other door. You also have an unfinished basement that easily could be finished for more square footage. There's also a basement on the carport, so you have more than 1,300 square feet in that lower level that's unfinished. It's a heat pump with gas back up. Very nice yard, and here's the retaining wall and extensive landscaping I, I was referring to. Really nice home, really good location right off of South Main Street in Rocky Mount. So we're gonna stay in Rocky Mount. This is 80 Donald Avenue. It's a great location. You're, you're right in the heart of town, if you will. You do um, have an entry level living room, dining room, kitchen, possible bedroom here if you wanted to. And of course, a bathroom on the entry level. A little over 1,300 total square feet here. Four bedrooms, two full baths. You do have a detached two-car garage that I'll show you here in a minute. That's pretty exciting. But you get a chance to step inside here. We get a shot of the living room and the dining area. Of course, we got a shot from the kitchen on this side and then we'll turn around and look the other way, Bob. This is the same kitchen, just happens to be from the other side. Here's bedroom number one, bathroom number one here off the, <clears throat> off the master. Here's bedroom number two and bathroom number two. Bedroom number three. Step out here, get a shot of the side of the home. But here's that detached two car garage I talked about, 28 by 36. Who would not love to have a detached two car garage, 28 by 36? Tons of room, you look inside, it's wide open, you can do with whatever you please. 80 Donald Avenue, give us a call, we'd love to show it to you. I think this will about wrap up our show here with about a minute left, but that should be time to give you a good overview of this nice home on Holland Row with the Callaway address and an extremely usable two-acre lot. There's a paved drive coming to a covered front porch leading to this nice living room with beams. There's 864 square feet on the entry level, including a laundry, a full bath, and bedroom. Good-sized kitchen leading over to a good-sized dining area with a bay window. Bedroom and full bath on the entry level. Upstairs, there's 590 square feet, bringing your total square footage to over 1450. It's a new roof put on this year on this home. And there's a real good view. It has lots of potential. Two acres and Holland Roads off Callaway and Bethany Road. So we'll be glad to give you more details for this home in Callaway. So I think that pretty much uses all our time for this week's edition of the Mountain to Lake Realty Showcase. We appreciate you watching very much and we'll be glad to try to answer any questions you may have on a future show. Take care, everyone.